In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some interesting Maya plugins when it comes to modeling, lighting, texturing, and so on. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First, we have Maya X Mods. It is a Wattpack set of amazing tools and core modifications from Maya that will enhance your workflow and smooth your work experience noticeably. The good thing about Maya X Mods is that it offers a lot of features and renovations, starting with a new and intuitive UI that includes a new toolbox, sidebar, and new unique attribute editor buttons that will add a lot of functionality. So it allows for a global change in attributes for a number of objects and specific changes to certain objects depending on your needs. Basically, you no longer have to manually copy and paste the material networks and change certain parameters for each object. Also, what I like is that this add-on offers a lot of accessibility with a new content browser, making it much easier to switch between projects. You may need this occasionally, but if you are a professional working on different projects, this might come in very handy. Another cool feature that XMod brings is the smart primitives which allows you to instantly and automatically spawn new primitives or even joints on components really quickly, rather than creating a new shape, transforming it, and snapping it into the desired component. MeshPlacer is another cool tool that looks exactly like Unreal Engine's Foliage Paint tool. It allows you to paint down and scatter your objects around the scene. There is also a new Rotopo and UV tool, which does both things in a short period of time. It brings the polymesh group feature that allows you to group various components such as faces, edges, or vertices, and you can control them depending on your needs. It also offers some minor yet efficient refinements to Maya, such as an updated copy and paste feature that pastes objects and groups without the persistent prefix, and a human scale hotkey that spawns a human sized sheet to compare your scene with it. Next up, we have a plugin called X-Ray Real-Time Light and Texturing Tool. As the name suggests, this add-on offers dedicated real-time rendering right through Maya's viewport. This is really important as it offers additional functionality to any 3D artist using Maya, just like Eevee changed the way artists work with Blender as it allows you to work efficiently and in real-time. On a side note, Autodesk is actually making progress in this regard, but it doesn't hurt to have a tool that can help you even further to work on your projects. This plugin offers parameters to play around with and get a render on the fly to get something close to the final render. This is really important to save time and try different variations of textures, lighting setups and so on and see what will work. And of course a result that you will be happy with. You can set the rendering settings of the light, reflections and subsurface scattering as needed with various render engines as a reference. So if you have V-Ray or Redshift as your main renderer, you can use those engines as the core for X-Ray rendering to iterate your scenes, materials, and shaders in real time. And just like any game engine, any GPU can run it. It also offers multi-layer texturing to completely texture your models easily on the go while supporting V-Ray, Redshift, and of course X-Ray real-time rendering. AO Cavity Masking is another cool feature that this add-on brings, where you can bake AO and cavity maps to use them for masking your layers. It is also worth noting that the X-Ray Light Baking only works on regular polygonal objects, and not the other Maya Advanced features such as X-Gen and N-Hair, because those can be rendered with X-Ray only after converting them into polygons, so keep that in mind. Next up we have Easy Terrain. If you are a Maya user, whether you are a level designer or a game developer, then this add-on is a must. Easy Terrain 2 can be your savior when it comes to creating landscapes or landscape generation. This is the case because from what I can see, you can create realistic landscapes and terrains in a short period of time within the comfort of using Maya. This is important because often artists resort to using other software to do this task, which is a hassle compared to having a dedicated tool inside Maya. The cool thing about this plugin is that it is not limited to flat planes only, meaning you can use any shape, whether it is a small sphere or a complicated 3D object, which unlocks a lot of restrictions found in different terrain generation packages. It also comes with a geopaint tool that can simulate real-world biomes by making shapes like rock formations, corona arches, bridges, 
and other natural formations. It also allows for easy and fast texturing, and it comes with a real-world height map database and offers many features such as blending modes, flow maps, detail maps, in addition to advanced texturing and much more. Last but not least, we have Live Record. This one is quite simple, but it is very effective for animators. It comes in very handy when planning out a certain animation, meaning if you want to quickly iterate your animations, then this plugin is the right way to go. Basically, you can record any object's movement or any transform parameter during the playback, so you don't have to manually keyframe and adjust the timeline on each section. You just hit play on the timeline, select the desired object, and simply transform it as needed. And you're done. If you play the sequence, it animates it automatically, which is amazing. You can also turn any animation into blend shape, which turns hours work into seconds. And this is a huge time saver. On a side note, its output is not gonna be the final animation, of course, but it would be a great way to plan your animations and see what works and what does not. And you can do this on the fly right off the bat. So guys, if you are interested in one of these plugins, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Also, if you like more Maya content like this and more complicated topics and in-depth topics about Maya, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.